Hello! I want to do a November favorites video. So I've seen a lot of other people do like monthly favorite videos. Um, so I thought I would do one. But I'm not like a super big beauty person, like beauty products person. So this isn't going to be like all beauty products. This is all just stuff I've used. And it's also not all stuff that I have bought in the month of November. It's just stuff that I've been using a lot in November. I don't know if there's any rules about a monthly favorites video. Is that cool? Like, I hope so. Because that's what I'm going to do. And apparently I'm also going to, like, jingle into the Christmas tree. Christmas tree because it's December now. Um, but anyway, so this is going to be November favorites. And a few disclaimers. One, I already said I didn't buy all these products in November. They are just um, products that I enjoyed using in the month of November. Number two... I have sort of like a head cold thing going on, so if I like randomly get snotty in the middle of the video, or if I'm really out there because I'm on a lot of cold medicine, that's why. Number three, it is shortly before it's time to feed Indy, so if he starts freaking out in the middle of this video, that's why. Don't think that I starve my cat. He's schedule fed. He doesn't understand it. Okay. Speaking of, right on cue, buddy. Great job. Okay. So, I kind of tried to organize these things, but honestly, it's, it's pretty random, so. The first category I'm going with is travel stuff. So, if you've been watching, um, or reading my blog or anything, sorry, I was trying to get it from around to Indy's tail. Um, I, not planning to, but ended up traveling a lot in the month of November. Um, and the month of August and the month of July, so... I feel like I've traveled a lot recently, and so these are just some things that, like, made my travel easier, I guess. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to go with is, and, oh yeah, and, I'm going to put links, as long as I can find them, to all these products below, or to, like, a similar product. But if you have any questions about the products, please let me know. Okay. So, the first thing that made my travels, like, way easier in July and August and then the two really quick trips I took in November is um, this purse. This is not the prettiest purse in the world, I will tell you that. But it is super functional and I love it. Okay, this is a Timbuktu purse. This is what it looks like. And I will tell you that this was like a special buy for like a, um, like they just had like a few of them and they were like discounted about a year ago. I think I bought it around my birthday last year, so in January. I will link below one that is similar. But I will tell you the one I'm going to link below does not have this back zipper pocket, which I really like. But this purse, and I'm not going to do like a what's in my purse video right now, but if you want to see what's in my purse, or if you want to see how I pack this purse as a carry-on for my trips that I went on recently, let me know and I will do that. But this is what I took on the plane when I went, Fee just messaged me, and I think it said her egg retrieval is Saturday. Awesome! Um, but this is what I took as a carry-on only when I flew in July, when I traveled in August, and then when I flew in twice in November. Um, this is what I took as a carry-on. So this, this is the back. Um, but it has a huge inside pocket. It's got the big back pocket. It holds a ton of stuff, and then it's got a long crossbody strap. So again, I'm not going to go through like how I packed it and everything, but if you want to see that, please let me know and I will make a video on it because it holds like so much stuff. That's like, that was my carry on and it was awesome. Okay. That was the first travel item. The next travel item. Okay. This is a little silly, but a little bit of backstory. So when I traveled in July to my grandparents the first time, um, I packed my suitcase and my mom was actually going the week before me. So I sent my suitcase with her, and then I just packed my purse as my carry-on. Well, I had, I used coconut oil on my face, I mean not on my face, cold medicine, on my legs um, as lotion. And I had put it in a Tupperware container in a Ziploc baggie, and it melted. And it melted into my cosmetic bag, which was just like a cloth with a lining bag type thing, and all over all of my clothes in my suitcase. It was awful. So when I realized that, I was like, oh, I, I kind of need a new cosmetic bag now. Because it was, like, I tried to wash it, but it had, like, soaked through the cosmetic bag. So the bag was, like, full of oil. So when I traveled in 
August, I think it was, for my grandmother's surgery, I packed, like, it was, like, a not planned trip. And so I just, like, threw stuff in the suitcase. I didn't even, like, think about that cosmetic bag already being like that. And I just packed in it. Well, when I traveled again unexpectedly in November for my grandfather's funeral, it was like a, we decided one night we were leaving the next morning. So I was packing that night and I was like, oh my gosh, this has oil all over it. And I was afraid it was going to get all over my clothes again. And these clothes were kind of a little more important because like I had a funeral outfit and everything and I wanted everything to work and not get messed up. So I... Sorry, this is a ridiculous story. So I was, like, trying to wrap my clothes in plastic bags. And I was, like, kind of in, like, hysterical... Not hysterical, but I was just kind of, like, emotional. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? And so I was, like, wrapping my clothes in plastic bags. And Nathan came in and was like, what are you doing? And I explained to him. I was like, my cosmetic bag has coconut oil on it. And I'm afraid it's going to leak on my things. He's like, okay, pack all your stuff. Put your cosmetic stuff in a uh, grocery bag. And in the morning on the way to the airport, I will stop and get you a new cosmetic bag. So we stopped at Walmart, like, at 7 o'clock in the morning. They had nothing. Like, they had no cosmetic bags. Like, it it was... I mean, they had some, but they were terrible. (coughs) Sorry. So, I decided... I was like, let's go to the camping section and see if they have something. So they had these... um, This is outdoor products. And it's huge. But this is a dry sack. So a dry sack is what you use when you're, like, rafting or camping and your stuff's going to have a potential of getting wet and it would be ruined if it got wet. So you put it in a dry sack and then you, like, push all the air out and you roll down the top of it and all your stuff stays waterproof. So it's a waterproof bag. So I was like, you know what? This will work for the I've got to get to my grandparents tomorrow type or today type trip. And then I, we were leaving the next week for California, and so I was like, you know, while I'm on my trip, I'll just Amazon Prime us a, a new cosmetic bag before we have to pack for that trip. I ended up loving this. Okay, first of all, nothing leaks out of it. Um, and I know that because I ended up using it again for the trip for California because I liked it so much. And on the way back, three ounces of liquid le- leaked out of the container it was in in this bag. And the bag was holding the water. And, and, I mean, obviously everything in the bag got wet, but nothing outside of the bag got wet. So this bag is awesome. Obviously, this one is way bigger than what we need, but I usually filled it with cosmetics, like, to about right here. And then I just rolled it down. And I didn't get the air out, so that's not going to be the best, but... I just rolled it down and then buckled it, and then, and then there's your little cosmetic bag. I mean, it's ugly as crap, but, like, it works. And then when I got to where I was going... And it had all my stuff in it. Then I just... This is terrible, sorry. I just, like, folded down the top of it. And then I had, like, a little bag. And that was, like, a terrible description of it. But I really love it. I suggest using a dry sack for your cosmetic bag. I don't think I'll ever go back to anything else. Okay, this video is going to be mega long. I'm so sorry. Next thing, let's, let's go a little faster, is this travel razor. So Kelly from Baby Belly Kelly actually is the one that showed me this, I think, in one of her summer videos. It was one of her favorites. Um, But it's just a Venus razor. But it's, like, really tiny and cute. And it's actually incredibly awesome to shave with. Like, it's really easy to hold on to and everything. I really like it. So I don't travel much, but I have ended up using this a lot recently. Okay. The next thing is something that I have used for almost a year... So it seems silly, but since I've been traveling so much recently, it's made my travels a lot easier. And that is dry shampoo. Okay. Amanda from Running With Spoons turned me on to dry shampoo about this time last year. It was like Christmas time last year. And um, I use it fanatically now. I used to wash my hair, wash and dry my hair every single day. And it was awful. My hair was like in terrible shape because of it. I now... And don't think this is gross, because, like, I still take a shower. I just don't wash my hair. But I can now go four, five, six, sometimes even pushing it seven days without washing my hair. This is day five today. Like, and I know it's not beautiful, but it's, it's not terrible. Like, and it also looks bad because it's, like, the end of the day. But this dry shampoo, this is, like, my drugstore, what I would, would buy, like, all the time. Um, obviously, there are more expensive ones. This one is just available in my area, and it's one of the few ones it is, and it works really well. And I have used it a lot when I've been traveling recently. Okay. The next item. Let's see. Okay. I think that's all with travel. Done with travel. The next item I'm going to say is toboggans. Um, 
This is a toboggan that I got recently. It is getting cold again, and toboggans are, like, totally what I love to wear. Like, I wish that I had a job where I was just allowed to wear a toboggan every day. Yeah. Like, I, I absolutely love wearing toboggans. This one, actually, Christina, um, and I'll link her blog below, she was actually doing a fundraiser, and so she was, like, making toboggans for people, and then you can purchase them um, to raise money for a triathlon that she wanted to do. So I bought it from her, and she knitted it for me, and it's awesome, and I love it. Okay, next are my compression gloves, which you guys have seen me wearing a lot. They're just fingerless gloves, um, and they help with my rainouts and when it gets cold. I basically live in these things, and I have basically lived in them the past month. So, there's that. Okay, let's move on to food. Okay, that was loud. First of all with food is my mini lunch crock. So this thing I have talked about before, it is amazing. It's basically plugs in and you put your food in here. It doesn't actually cook food, but it reheats food. So we are a big soup freezers, like we make, that was a weird topic, a weird sentence. We freeze soup, like when we make soup, we then freeze a lot of it into little containers. So you can just like take a little frozen container of soup, dump it in here, and then plug it in and like four ish hours it's hot soup so when I work I work at the ski mountain as a volunteer ski patroller if you didn't know that and we don't have a fridge or a microwave in our little area like there is a microwave upstairs that I can heat stuff up on but there's not a fridge so I've got to like keep stuff cold and then heat stuff up because I don't want cold food when I'm uh like I usually want something warm and hot when I'm skiing so that is awesome because I just put the frozen soup in it before I leave my house and then when I get there I just plug it in and then whenever I'm ready to eat it's ready. So that's awesome because I don't have to wait in line in the microwave. I don't have to, and sometimes the microwave is broken like someone's broken it and they haven't fixed it yet and because it's like a public microwave and also there have been some shifts at the ski mountain where we've gotten really busy and having food like already prepared where I could just sit down actually in the patrol room and eat if I had to if I couldn't make it to the cafeteria is really awesome. So um, also the cafeteria serves very little that I can actually eat. So I love that crock pot and this time of year I use it a lot because I use it, I take it on every single shift. Everyone's always like, what do you have in your crock pot when I walk in? So there's that. Speaking of food containers, this tea mug, which I think I raved about during Vlogtober, it is amazing. It's by Tea Vanna. And it actually has a little basket in it that you can put loose tea in and I, I think I talked all about it in an October video. This thing is awesome. Um, you can put tea in it in the morning and it will still be hot at night. Like, let's see it right now. Like, that tea is from um, 6 o'clock this morning. And it is almost 6 o'clock tonight, so 12 hours. It was not hot, but it was more than lukewarm. And I've had it open most of the day today. If you leave it closed, it'll be piping hot at the end of the day. But I actually had it open most of the day because I left for a long meeting and I left it open on my desk and didn't realize it. But I love that mug and it doesn't leak either. Like if you get it closed well, you can like shake it upside down and it doesn't leak. So I can put it in my purse and not worry about it. Love it. Speaking of tea, you guys know that I love tea. But there have been two teas I've been drinking the most this month. Or that I drank the most in November. The first one is Caramel Apple Dream, which I'm just, like, obsessed with. This stuff is so good. You should try it. And then the next thing is peppermint tea. So when I travel, my stomach, like, it's not good. It does not handle travel well. Um, so I t took peppermint tea on my trips, um, with all intentions of taking them on my trips. Actually, when I left for my grandfather's funeral, I, like, was very methodical because I knew I was packing quickly and I, like, had everything laid out totally forgot my tea um but I stopped at Walmart where my grandparents live my grandparents live in the middle of nowhere and all they had was peppermint tea and so I ended up buying peppermint tea and I drank an entire box of it there on my trip because I just I love peppermint tea um and especially with my when my stomach's upset it's the best so those are my teas all right we're getting there guys we're getting there the next is cookies these cookies gluten-free Candy cane creams. So they're sort of like Oreos, but they're gluten-free and they have um, a peppermint center. They are not vegan. They do contain eggs, but 
I occasionally eat eggs and baked goods. These cookies are awesome. I get them at our store that's called Earth Fair, which is like a uh, sort of like a Whole Foods knockoff that's sort of crappier than Whole Foods. I'm sure they have them other places, but that's where I get them. The next thing I have are these Vans gluten-free waffles. I really like waffles. I like waffles with peanut butter on them, and I know that's weird. Um, but I, as much as I like waffles, and I really like to be productive and make like a big batch of waffles at once and then stick them in the freezer and then have homemade waffles whenever I want them, it doesn't happen very much because standing there and like pouring the batter on and waiting for it to go and then pouring, I end up eating all the waffles while I'm waiting on the batter to make the waffles. So these are actually not super expensive. In fact, I found them recently at Walmart for two fifty a box, which is really cheap. Um, some of the other stores I've found, they're like $3.99 or $4, $4.25, but I really like them. Um, and I usually just like eat one in the morning with peanut butter on it. They are very good. Um, I like them a lot. And I think that they are vegan. Yeah. Yes, they're vegan and gluten-free. Recommend them. The next thing is... Daya, Daya, however you say it, dairy-free cheese. I never thought that I would like processed vegan cheeses. The first, like, I first tried them when I first was diagnosed with, like, a dairy intolerance, and I hated them. Like, I remember the first bite I took of them, and I thought that I would never get that taste out of my mouth. Like, it was so bad. But for some reason, just, like, a few months ago, um... I really wanted a grilled cheese sandwich. And so I went and got some of this cheese and I was like, eh, it's not that bad. I don't know if it's that I've lost my taste of cheese more or what. But this company also makes frozen pizzas that actually happen to have gluten-free crust as well. And it has their cheese on the pizzas and it's actually really good. And then I've been using the slices um, to make nachos recently, like with some corn chips. I wouldn't just pick up that cheese and just like eat it by the bite full pieces because like I used to do with like regular cheese so it definitely has to be with something but I really like it a lot it's really good okay next are these scented warmers guys um I might have a problem like I'm addicted to them but I never really liked scented stuff before but then like all of a sudden recently I've been like Oh my gosh, I want scented burners. I think it's mainly because I have a cat who has a litter box that smells bad. But these are some of them. Let me, let me show you the ones that I've gotten recently. Okay. First of all, sparkling spruce. Because as you can see, we have a beautiful Christmas tree here, but it is plastic. For many reasons that I'm not even going to go into. If you want my philosophy on why I have a, a fake tree, I will give it to you because I have very strong reasons behind it. But this smells awesome um, because it smells like there's a real tree. We do have, oh, actually be right here. yes, when we first got the fig tree, we also got this pine room spray. This is from five years ago. And it smells delicious. It still smells good. Um, but first of all, it makes everything sticky that it lands on. And Indy likes to eat it. Like, if you spray it, he'll catch it in his mouth and eat it. So once you spray it on the tree, he likes to eat the plastic bristles that it's been sprayed on. That was a pretty big problem last year. So I was really excited when I found this sparkling spruce burner. The only thing I will say about this one is the smell does not seem to stay for as long as some of the other scents do. Like, it only burns a couple times before the smell starts to go away. I also was in love with Pumpkin Pie Diner this month. And in October, or November and October. It smells delicious. This one I haven't tried yet, but I'm really excited. Frosted cookie party. I also have maple something upstairs. And then I also had just this mixed pack. Of a lot of different flavors. So. That's everything. I'm really sorry I didn't warn you and be like, guys, this is the last product. Be prepared for me to depart you. 
sorry. It's just over. That's everything. Okay, so did you like this? Like, was this fun? Is it fun when they're not new products and they're just things that I liked using for that month? Is it fun when I talk when I'm on cold medicine and I don't make any sense? Let me know if you liked this. And let me know if you want a video of how I pack in that purse for a carry-on. Or any other stuff. Um, yeah, is this something you want me to keep doing like each month? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to go take care of the cat and I'll talk to you guys later.